Suplex City here in New Jersey. This is a PGRC tier event, so we will be seeing people trying to get runbacks from Collision. Many people want to get a hold of Frozen to try and get their runbacks from what happened to him last time. Frozen not trying to let that happen, but maybe Ken and Black yeah. gets an early upset. Frozen's definitely the, being scouted out right now. One of the favorites to win this tournament with all the wins he got last time. Yeah, definitely a contender for like, with the way he's been playing and, you know, just relative inconsistency in the weeklies, but he's been improving each week as days go by. This matchup, so difficult for Ness to find his footing because you already see how hard it's been for him just to be able to get back. I like the fact as soon as he got the opportunity, ran straight to center stage to reset the situation. Yeah, that's how you know he has like just good smash knowledge because he's aware of where he wants to be in the, on the stage and in both situations. He also has a good, you know, Kenny Black has a good concept of fighting games in general. He knows, like, all right, look, if I'm a disadvantage, I need to back off, I need to reset. Why consistently take damage that's gonna be negative for me? And he hasn't died yet, but he, you can see starting to regain his footing a little bit. Going the other way from the nair, but getting called out on the landing that time. The yeah. back here's gonna take it. And now we're seeing the teleports from Frozen. He is really known to do those teleports with Palu. Yeah, his, uh, his movement with the teleports is like, he, he's, it's very stressful to deal with. You don't know when he's gonna potentially be coming, but you see Cannon Black, like, he's he's getting little hits here and there. He's slowly starting to figure it out. Doesn't get hit by the explosive flame there, but Frozen at the same time, just kind of mic like, just, just playing the footsie game. Backing off a little bit here and there, just trying to get him to come into him. Oh, and Cannon Black taking the first, his first stock right there. Yeah, mashing out of that PK fire there to try and be able to recover. And uh, he actually went a little bit too low. So Ken Black put himself on the board. Okay, punishing that dash attack. And he's basically get, catching on to Frozen's habits. Oh, missing the grab. Oh, oh gets called out on the up smash though there, right? He, he saw Ken Black the last few times has been aggressive at the ledge. Like, all right, I, I have a huge percent lead. Let me just throw this out there, see if it works. Yeah, and fun fact, that up smash is not like a projectile or like an energy sort of thing. So Ness can't absorb it. Mm. Yeah, no, that is that is all damage that you got to take. But Frozen with these odds, uh, uh, with the knowledge of where to go uh, when you get hit by PK Fire, a lot of people get take a lot of damage when they get caught by it. Ooh, the cancel. Yeah. That was almost a great bait trying to bait out an air dodge there to catch him with the up smash. But yeah. still holding this ledge trap very well. Good Thanks. defense from... Uh, well, aggressive uh, play from Kenneth Black to get himself back. Right there. Honestly, I thought he was going to go for PK Thunder 2 because I've seen Foe and Austin do that. They get that stage spike. But they're not going to get an opportunity there. Back air is going to take it. That is going to be the first game going to Frozen. All right. So, where do you think we're going? Where do we uh, In this matchup, I don't think Frozen's going to give him an opportunity to run away further. Yeah, then again, no, he could, no Smashville. I say Vance, Smashville, probably Yoshi's Brawl 2 then. Yeah. Like, if he's going to ban Smashville, then why give him an opportunity on a, a walled Smashville? Like, it's the same concept, and... No, actually, it's going to be FD. I, he, wants to, he wants to be able to hold him in place, not give him uh, any option to recover to these uh, platforms because he's consistently called him out on his way back to the ground. Like, if he has another place to go to, like on Battlefield, it'll yeah. work better for him and Black. Yeah, but I'm, he might just get sharked if he goes, like, Battlefield by these platforms, by Frozen. Palu is really known to shark these platforms Oh, yeah, I definitely safely. said that completely wrong. I meant to, uh, everything I said was meant to be in place about FD, not Battlefield. <laughs> but um, we're going to town and city, actually. TNC. I, I like this, you know, having the multi-layout, having the higher uh, ceiling, yeah. he's been, it uh, removes the early kill potential of not only an up smash, uh, but the up air as well. Yeah, I love this song. It's a banger. All right. Frozen, all right, all right, all right. Frozen is pushing him now. <laughs> yeah, Pro Frozen burying him in the corner, trying to consistently establish that same pressure. And that's what he did before, trying to set him up so he'll get caught by an air dodge into the up smash. Didn't work that time, but now Frozen's got his back pocket. He's got the download on what he could do there. Yeah, and we see um, Ken Black is going for a lot of dares. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's very aggressive on uh, landing as well. That's a very common theme of early pools. But Ken and Black, you know, he, he's he's got some knowledge behind the game. So he's definitely playing relatively solid. It's just that Jen, I mean, excuse me, um, uh, Frozen, all the Palus eventually merged together in uh, HL3K. But uh, Frozen's just been playing all the so Palus well. Look alike. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Actually, Ken Black is slowly ringing this back. That Nair's not going to take it yet. Yeah, that was some very good DI. But calling him out on his recovery, that has been a consistent thing as well. Every time he recovers high, Frozen already in position to catch him for it. Yeah. And Frozen being great, we aware of the situation. Uh, yeah, that time not going to get him with the up smash, but that is going to be a swift victory coming in for him, getting that first stock. The back throw going to take it. What? Chase. Yo, he tickled his toes, like just barely caught him fading away at the very end there. Just spear fingers. That's my guy. So that is going to be yet another stock going down for Frozen. They have very good positioning uh, to catch him at the top. Core throw. Oh, oh, I thought he... Yeah, he, look, right honestly, like, I thought that he timed it just perfectly enough, and that would have easily been a deleted stock. That was a fully charged uh, PK thrust. And now we're seeing, fires being thrown yeah. out, trying to zone his way in. But and now we're seeing those back air combos by Frozen. Yeah, now it's at the point that where you see Frozen's playing a little bit more aggressive. It's like, all right, I have a full stack up. This is all the point now where I can do as many trades as I want. Like, as soon as you come in, I'm going to have something prepared for you. But Optin, see, now he's going for the zoning approach because of the fact that he sees Ken and Black spin so aggressive. All right. Okay. Falling up airs, but the fair take him right there. Yeah, getting him some stage positioning. Looked like he was trying to potentially go for a back throw there. That, catch him on the frame trap. Yeah. Gonna get him with the back air and that's gonna that's take it. it. Relatively solid adjustments that Kenna Black was trying to do, but you know, at, at the end of it all, just the way that uh, Frozen was playing the boxing game, he was doing much better. You see right here, he was trying to look for a potential fall down back air. It wasn't a back throw, but that frame trap, regardless of how much, uh, how good that air dodge still is, forced them to land him in front of him mm -hmm. and was able to get that backer follow-up. Yeah. So Frozen taking out 